Okay, let's try this again. I have turned this caliper base over, and we'll do a, probably drill through the back side of it. Uh, this is the cobalt drill set that just came in from Amazon today. We're going to give this one a shot. This is what it is. It's a Bosch. Must be a pretty good one. Farmcraft. I think it was a Farmcraft. Tested this, and it wasn't the very best one, but it was a good one. Um, M42 Cobalt, which you can see it right there. I hope you can see that. So, let's see. Maybe I can something on there. Let's dig that out. It's like cutters. There we go. Now, what do we have here? What size is this? I don't know. They're not marked. Where are they? Maybe they are. I have to get my up close glasses on here so I can see. Yeah, they're marked. One sixteenth, five sixty fourths, nine thirty seconds, seven sixty fourths, one one eighth. Looks like there's two one eighths in there. That'd be right. That must be a popular bit set. Let's see. Zero. Zero. Should be one twenty five. One twenty three. Look close enough to me. I'm going to try to bore a one twenty five hole on the back side of this thing. I've already lined up the mill on the hole that I tried to drill the other day with the uh, carbide bits and put a center punch spot on it. That's a little bitty center punch too. That stuff is hard. Yeah. I've got a parallel bar under there to support it and I'm going to push the parallel bar back and I sure don't want that drill bit coming through and hitting that. Okay. I'm going to put mineral oil on that this time. I had a number of people tell me different things to try. Going from conventional wisdom, I'm going to try this first at the slow speed. And this is a sub about between 70 and 80 RPM. And if this thing starts cutting through it, I'm just going to ramp on it and push it on through. It's 
going. So what I'm going to do is take one of the recommendations, and there's a guy on YouTube who did this. He used carbide tip drill bits that are made for multi-materials. It actually looks like a high-speed steel drill bit with a carbide tip welded to the end of it, almost like a masonry bit, but not quite. It's got a sharper point on it than a masonry bit. It looks more like a spear point. I think I had a drill bit like that once upon a time. I think it was for drilling through glass and tile. So I'm going to run this at 600. About a thousand RPM. Let's see what this does. said speed this puppy up that was the trick when I put this video up I'm gonna give credit to whoever did it I don't remember I'm sure the mineral spirits didn't have any effect on it. But this is the hole we just drilled. That was the other side. This thing's pretty toasty warm too. But speeding that thing up did the trick. I am a happy camper. You know what? Now I'm wondering if using those carbide drill bits, if I had sped them up, if they would have worked as well. Maybe. What I think I'm going to do put my tail between my legs and say I learned something I'm, I've been doing crap like this for 60 years, over 60 years I'm 74 years old and I've been working on stuff like this since I was 15 or so so even at my age and as much experience as I've got I can still learn something from you young guys and thank you so much to whoever it was that suggested doing this. It worked. I appreciate you. And to punish myself for following conventional wisdom instead of following people that tell me what works, I'm going to keep that other car by drill bit I got and just eat the cost of it. This drill bit set. This one was like 35 bucks. And I like it. I've been going to the uh, TFA meetings. TFA. It's Tool Fetish Anonymous. As I have mentioned in my other videos occasionally, going to those meetings 
they don't help you to do anything. Those guys aren't there to convince you to straighten out your life. They're there to convince you to buy more tools. Thank you guys. This is awesome. Add another little capability to my repertoire of things I can do. Awesome.